Now, won't you please welcome Nicole Blanton. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Well, let me tell you, I'm from North Carolina, and all the stereotypes are absolutely true. Everybody loves NASCAR. Pretty much everyone owns a shotgun. And the two political parties there are Republican and Confederate. <laughs> but I'm from Cary, which is a bigger city. We actually brag about having the highest number of teeth per person. <laughs> Cary was great to grow up in. It taught me everything I needed to know. I learned how to pop my collar, how to order a complicated drink at Starbucks, and how to budget my allowance so that I could afford both lunch and cocaine. <laughs> but, <laughs> I see you. But in Cary, every neighborhood has a neighborhood gossip. You know, they're the person that's all up in your business. They find out you're pregnant and they bring over that congratulatory batch of cookies before you've even figured out who the father is. <laughs> but it's kind of fun because down in Miami, every neighborhood has a neighborhood transvestite. And she makes cookies too, but it's because she actually is the father of your children. <laughs> I think one of the funnest things in Miami is the driving because they do this awesome thing with cars down here where they actually attach the brake pedal directly to the horn. People honk like crazy, am I right? Like, I think it's because there's a lot of really call to action bumper stickers like, honk if you're horny, honk if you love your chihuahua, honk if driving in Miami makes you want to stab yourself in the face and eat your firstborn child. Honk. Honk. It's that bad. Um, something else that's really fun is grocery shopping because everyone starts shopping in one aisle and they just leave their cart and it's like, search and rescue, aisle four, search and rescue. But I think it's great because it is this great opportunity for me to teach them about responsibility. So when they're gone, I'm gonna start taking key items from their cart. So then they, they find me later and they're like, did you get that from my cart? And I'm like, what? No, I don't know what you're talking about. They're like, seriously, give it back. I'm like, okay, fine. Here's your baby. <laughs> Shouldn't leave your card unattended. I, I'm looking for a new apartment right now, and everything is online, and some of these descriptions are so sketchy. Like, I found one the other day that was one bedroom, one bathroom, clean apartment. How bad is this place if they have to put that it's clean? I can just picture the realtor like bringing someone in and be like, oh, yes, ma'am, we did just walk past two dead bodies on the way in. But I would like to direct your attention to these hardwood floors. Do you see that sparkle? I could eat off these floors. Oh, no, no, the bathroom doesn't have a toilet, but it's very clean. <laughs> My birthday is December 23rd. And everyone always asks me the same thing. They're like, oh, did people combine your birthday and Christmas presents? I'm like, no, fortunately, my parents weren't cheap bastards. <laughs> I do sometimes get mistaken for Jesus, though. <laughs> Which is totally fine by me, because in December, I have my birthday. And then around March, I have a rebirth day. <laughs> but in March, I usually just get like a basket of Cadbury eggs and Peeps. I know, I look like Jesus, it's hard. Um, do you ever think about mascots? Like, okay, fine. Well, I think about them a lot. And I have this vision of this really sweaty, hairy old guy dressed up as Cuddles the Bear, like, bouncing little kids on his lap all day. What a great job for a pervert. Do you see these guys wearing these shirts? Real men wear pink. And have you noticed, it's always the same guys that just came out of the salon from getting their hair highlighted and then their mani pedis. And they see you staring at them and they're like, what are you looking at? Real men wear pink. I'm like, sure they do. They just don't usually wear it in little girls' sizes. <laughs> Barbie just turned 50. Yeah, and for her 50th birthday, Mattel offered a limited edition Barbie featuring a Barbie-sized tramp stamp with Ken's name on it. 
you stay classy, Barbie. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately, shortly after the tattoo, she started developing signs of jaundice and was diagnosed with hepatitis. <laughs> this did finally give a purpose to the life of little sister Skipper. <laughs> Liver donation. I used to work at this job where I had to answer the phone and I would just get in the habit of answering the phone like that. So my phone would ring and I'd be like, thank you for calling Lowe's Hardware, this is Nicole, how may I help you? Which is fine, but like, what if I work somewhere that was really embarrassing? So my phone rings and it's like, anal for the elderly, this is Nicole, how may I help you? <laughs> when you're near the end, take it that way. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. <laughs> I watch a lot of reality TV. And I think it's so funny the way they cast these shows for conflict, because there's always going to be that terrible racist conversation between that terrifyingly large black girl and then like the dumb blonde from like Oklahoma or something. And she's like, how dare you call me racist just because I asked if your tribal tattoo was a gang sign. <laughs> and then they always try to cover it like this. I have lots of black friends. My best friend is black, and he's so fun and super smart, but sometimes he gets fleas, especially behind his ear. But I don't care, because I'm not racist. My, my favorite reality shows are these ones on VH1, though, where they're trying to find love. And by love, I mean an all-inclusive opportunity to vomit on camera as many times as humanly possible. But at the beginning of these shows, they always give people nicknames. And it's all, like the guy will be standing there and the girl walks up with these like giant fake boobs. And she, he's like, damn girl, mm, damn, you real pretty. I like your eyes, they got some sparkle. Damn, you real pretty in the face. I'm gonna call you titties. <laughs> Well, I, I'd love to stay up here all night, but my neighbor just got out of rehab and I have to go bake some cookies. <laughs> Nicole Blanton, everybody!